So this is my Galaxy S3. Just restarted it to show you how it, uh, what you get if you do all the steps, if you follow all the steps in the tutorial. Uh, you and if you install all the programs and all the mods and uh, basically, as I said before, follow every step. This is what you will get. Um, this last update actually made my phone a little bit faster. Um, but it still does take uh, a little bit to load depending on what you have, uh, what applications you have starting up with the phone. I don't have that many, uh, but I know people that really use it uh, with, started with many applications. Okay, so let me start showing you. This is the lock screen that I picked. Um, you have different icons here, uh, camera, phone, SMS, Twitter, and unlock. But if you here go to the bottom left, it changes to different ones that I picked, Shazam and other whatever. And if you go to the bottom right, it shows different ones. Um, you can pick them all, whatever. Then let's unlock. Let's see what's ready and what's not. Well, you know, the widgets take a little bit longer to load, some of them. But the first thing that you can see is the animation between the screens. Uh, it's different every time uh, I picked random. And that's the ADW launcher. That's what you can do. You can pick one or two or random uh, animations. Okay, so that's the, also part of the day. ADW is a drawer. Uh, there you can pick different types of animations as well. I chose a 4D. Um, I like this type of animation. And then here the bottom row uh, that you can customize how many icons to have. Uh, you can also have extra ones. You can slide and add icons here. Links to applications. You can do the widgets. Uh, they're resizable now. You just click resize and you can change the widget to whatever size you want. Um, what else is part of the ADW? It's, it has gestures. You can do things with your fingers. Like if I do two fingers down, oh sorry, a little bit faster, it will uh, hide the Google search. Uh, I think that's how it should show. And the, oh, wait. And there it is, back. Uh, and different kinds. You can uh, also program that. Then what you do with what you get with the JK the lock settings is this. You can customize what icons appear here and in what order. Uh, and then you can have, if you drag again, you get another line that you also can pick and customize. That's the J uh, J JKW uh, settings, whatever. Uh, also, you have these applications that you can choose uh, and that's the notifications bar um, everything is customizable the other thing that you have in my um, tutorial is a multi multi window which I turn on I haven't used this in a while uh, but basically here it shows you these applications and with multi-window you can pick exactly what applications to show you here. Uh, with the original Android multi-window, multi-view, um, you only get certain ones, not all of them, like uh, WhatsApp and that kind of thing. I'm not sure that you get them in the original ROM. Um, so this is what you get. Uh, it's pretty fast as you can see. It's a good phone. Uh, and with these add-ons that cost a little bit of money, but I think it's worth it. Uh, you spend it once and that's it. Then you get uh, updates forever. Um, so I think it's worth it. Um, and this is what you get if you follow my tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider clicking on one of the ads on my website. It will help me keep it online. Thanks for watching.